much going on everybody this is Island Hopper TV Hotels coming to you from the Four Points Bali here in Kuta so you've got a bar right here <clears throat> they're actually ripping up the old uh, AstroTurf there and they're gonna put in some new one last night there was a shell hello hi there here's where your taxi drops you off you can see they've got some rental bikes over there just can cruise around And then here you have the lobby. Hello, thank you. Hi there. <laughs> Who's looking? So you have the check-in area right here. And the pool. Very nice pool. You've also got a pool table and the bar here. If we go down one steps, you will see they have a restaurant. So let's go down there. This is where they do the breakfast. It also connects to the outside there where the uh, brews bar is. But yeah, this is the breakfast and dinner and lunch area. They also have a rooftop, which I'll be showing you here in a moment. But uh, yeah, let's keep looking around. All right, so this is the Sori rooftop pool and bar. Ah, there's the rooftop pool. Wow, look at this. They're celebrating good times up here, huh? Oh yeah, bing bam. I'm trying to make it so the music can't uh, flag my channel, but look at, they got a restaurant up here. Oh, this pool is really nice. So, let's take a look here. Down into uh, Legion from the roof. There you go, what we got over here? At the room, you can see it's small and efficient. Um, typical beach hotel accommodation. We got a mirror here, suitcase, and then all that. Nice big bed. Almost looks like two beds combined. It is a king. And then I've got the uh, poolside access here. So there you go. Okay, so now for my final review of the Sheraton Four Points in Kuta or Lijian. So I stayed there for two nights. Uh, I've stayed at two more hotels since then. I'm at the uh, Aloft in Seminyak right now. I was also at the Four Points in Seminyak. Um, I haven't tried any four-star or five-star hotels, I should say, since I've been in Bali this time around. Actually, I don't think I've ever stayed at a five-star resort in Bali. Reason is they're so darn expensive. I mean, when I say expensive, I mean like over four or five, six hundred dollars. Um, Bali is not a very cheap place for uh, luxury accommodation. You can find cheap, affordable accommodation in Bali. Uh, for example, this hotel here was about $140 a night. Uh, the one I stayed at last night was $170. The one I'm at now is $140. Uh, also, there are other hotels that you can get for $40 or $50 a night, um, but they wouldn't be really worth reviewing. I've stayed at the Swiss Bellin in Legion. It just depends on the location you want to be and what your price point is. But there is really a price point for everybody in Bali. Uh, I plan to show you uh, more hotels. That's why I shop around these hotels to give you an idea of what to expect when you get here. I may or may not go over to Uluwatu or uh, uh, Nusa Dua, uh, Sanur. We'll see. Uh, it seems like I'm kind of up here in Seminyak and Chenggu area. 
Uh, I don't know how long I'll stay here. Traffic is not so good. Actually, it was better when I was in Cuda. So let's talk about this hotel. So staff is very friendly. The food is good. I ate me goring pretty much like three times while I was here. I think I even had one nasi goring. So <laughs> that was really what I ate at this hotel. I love me goring. I like nasi goring, but not as much as me goring. The rooftop pool is cool. It's nice. But the lagoon downstairs is also very amazing. Uh, the room is small, at least the one that I stayed in. They did check me into a suite, but it was all the way on the top in the very back. And it was a long walk to get there. So I said, do you have anything at the ground level? And it's not a suite, but it's a small room. But the good thing is you got to see what the room looks like at the ground level instead of one of the suites. I did get a suite, I think, at the uh, Seminyak Four Points. So uh, overall, I would say that this hotel has what you're looking for. The location is really good. The staff is really good. The room is comfortable. Uh, the AC works. I would say it's pretty much a solid, a solid choice. Uh, I would like to stay here again, actually, mostly because I think the location is fantastic. They also have an Aloft hotel right there at the mall, uh, just down the road. I have stayed at that before. I did not review it yet because the Aloft in Seminyak is different than the one in, uh, Kuta or Legion. I'm still trying to figure out exactly where the boundary is for Legion or Legion. Just depends on how you want to say it, right? Um, you know, people are going to make comments about how I'm pronouncing it, I know. Um, but Kuta seems to be what the general area is pre referred to. Even if you look at the Sheraton Four Point sign right below, it says uh, Kuta, Bali. So uh, I plan to do some more hotel exploring. Hopefully I have the energy and the stamina to keep packing up and relocating every time because I've been doing that quite a bit. Although the first time I was, the first stay here, I did do an overnight, uh, two nights at this hotel. So I found it to be just such a good place, but I had to come up to Seminyak, had to make some other videos for our other channels, Island Opera TV, uh, highlights and this one. So anyways, if you guys plan to visit Bali or Indonesia and you wanna see more of our videos, watch our Indonesia checklist. I went to Surabaya, I went to Bandung, I went to Yogyakarta and uh, Jakarta also. Now I'm in Bali, so lots of uh, tours of hotels in Indonesia and this will be at least three from Bali, but hopefully more than that. So we'll see you on the next one.